Okay, we have Jeffrey Hines here. Show Hello. me your bow, Jeffrey. It's your first time. We put a yeah. new string on it, set it up with a pad. We got arrows. I'm going to give him a lesson. We're going to give him, we're going to teach you, we're going to watch us teach him how to shoot. Now, Mike has got this beautiful bow. Take a look. He refinished this. Look how beautiful it is. Look at the carving on that bow. Oh, that was can, a oh, Wood Morrison it. riser that had some imperfections and he sanded it and refinished it and another you know, custom string I made but look he was yeah. shooting incredible it's beautiful okay so me and Mike are gonna watch Jeffrey and we're gonna teach him and hopefully uh hopefully <laughs> he'll, you know he'll do okay yeah, so, we'll see. All right, so <laughs> let me uh, show you quick stand here okay all right now when you start close I'm gonna teach you you have to have a good stance we start with the stance Okay. And you don't stand like this in line. Mm -hmm. You stand like this, like a little, a little 30 degrees away, right? Okay. okay, good. And the reason is that if you stood in line, look, see how close the string is to my arm? Yeah. If you put it, you'd whack your arm, or if you put a coat on, you'd whack your arm. But look what happens when I open up my stance a little and hold the bow. Oh. Okay. You see this pad here in, in, your, in your hand, the pad? Mm -hmm. Okay kind of the bow will go like this it'll pull in like a stop sign if you do this mm -hmm. see the bow will go there and then what you do is just close your hand lightly you don't grab it with a death grip gotcha now to be consistent you have to come back and touch your anchor we got one more thing I have to do I'll stop this I'll go when I got to put that knocking point on but okay I forgot to put the knocking point on but when you uh, when we pull back ah, we need a little thing. that's gotcha. that little metal ah. crimp so I gotta go put that on <laughs> But anyway, when you come back, you want to pull back and touch your anchor point, and the top finger will be in the corner of your mouth, like this one. Okay. Okay? And we're going to elbow all the way back, like this. You can feel your back tension. You can feel it, your muscles squeezing together in your back like that. Okay. And you're going to put the point closer, lower. And the further you go back, like 20 yards, but 25 yards, the point will go up because the arrow will rise. Believe it or not, you put this on the belly of the bear, it'll it'll go up into the bear. Oh. All right, I'm going to stop this. I'm going to put the knock set on because mm -hmm. I forgot to put a knock set on. And then we're going to continue the lesson, all right? Sounds good. Go right to my anchor. And when I release, my hand is going to stay right on my face. I'm, the only thing that's going to move are my three fingers. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try right. to be a shooting machine. And my, and my bow arm stays out. When I release that, my bow arm doesn't drop, it doesn't go up, it does it stays right where it was. Okay, so I, I, I still drop my shots. bow arm, don't get me wrong, I'm not perfect at it, but gotcha. most of the time I'm pretty good. See, right there. Look at my hand. Hands up on target, hand against that's your it. face. My hand never moved. The only thing that moved my three yeah. fingers. I went like yeah. this, that's all I did. And then that's, that's it. Goes. Boom. Okay, now I'm going to show you while we're on camera and he's getting his arrow. Mm -hmm. What I want you to do is we measured your draw length. It's only 28. These arrows are really long. Okay. I want you to go like this. Put this in your chest and pull your arms way out. Touch, touch as far as you can okay. like that. And as long as you do that, you know that the arrows are long enough from you mm -hmm. and they're not going to be short and wind up pulling back and going through your wrist. Oh, oh, oh. Good, catch. Good, catch. good catch, man. Okay, camera stand blew over. I don't know if you're going to see it in any of the edits, but that's what <laughs> happened, all right? All right, Jeffrey, come on over here. Stand all over right. here. Remember how I told you to stand, right? Yep. Okay, just like that, perfect. Okay, this is your bow hand. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we knock an arrow downrange. It's not like a gun, but still, they want you to learn how to knock it. Mm -hmm. See, there's an odd color feather that goes out, and Sticks you knock out. underneath. Now this is a new string and it's a little snug. Yep. Make sure it clicks on, okay? Gotcha. Now, before you pull back, hold your bow hand up. Mm -hmm. I want you to come back, elbow all the way back, loosen this up, okay. touch the corner of your mouth, mm -hmm. feel that against your face. Yeah. Now, when you release, either keep your hand there. That. That's okay. When you release, keep your hand against your face. Just flick your hand open, mm -hmm. okay? As you're pulling back, you can feel your back tension, right? You feel yeah. your back right here? Yeah. Watch, let me show you. If you went like this, mm -hmm. uh, you feel yeah, that like back, that. right? Now, when you come back, watch, like this here. Come back and touch the floor of your mouth. That yeah. elbow's got to go back. You feel a little bit of that tension, that back tension? Yeah, that looks good. Okay, like once this. you feel that, right, um, and you touch the corner of your mouth, you're going to maintain that pressure, 
and we're going to shoot static. Just open your finger there, but you're going to feel that pressure, okay? Okay. So hook three under. Okay. Okay. Pull back. Touch stick this finger right in the middle of your, and you could go deep. It ain't going to affect it. Okay. Pull back. Stick that finger in the corner of your mouth. Now look at the tip of the arrow. Put the tip yeah. on the bottom of the deer. Lean towards me a little. There you go. Put the tip on the belly of the bear. Okay. Now open your fingers. Look at that. Oh, nice. You, you now, now it'll get better. If the arrow goes to the left, your hand is off your face a little, which mm -hmm. it is. If it goes to the right, it's usually you do this. You grab the bone. Gotcha. All right? But look at that. That's your first shot. You Ooh. hit the target, right? Yeah. So what do you think? Good? That's pretty cool. Okay, so now we're going to grab another arrow, and we're going to shoot again. All right. Thank okay. you. Let's try that. One thing you might want to do, you see, you see how your arrow was kept falling off? Yeah. Don't hold your bow vertical. Put a little bit of it on top. Just like a little that. bit. They call it canting the bow. Uh, that, that'll keep, that'll keep the arrow. Okay. That'll keep the arrow from falling off the shelf. So there you just go. a little bit. A little bit. There's no, a natural can. If you just yeah, just yeah. take your hand, take your hand and throw it out. Okay. Make a fist and throw it out. Oh. Now you no, see no, there's no, a little. No, angle. Not like you punch or something. Just yeah, just just throw it out. Just swing it out. Right. You see that? Close your hand. See that? You see that angle? Yeah. That's a natural can. So if you naturally oh. do that every time and put the bow in it, all right? Okay. So, okay, so you hold it at a little angle, slowly put it out. You see that natural little can? That's it. That's it. Yeah, perfect. Okay, three under. Okay. okay. And you got your stance good. And you see the strings away from your arm, right? Yeah. Okay. Touch that. Oh, go back more. Stick it right in the corner of your mouth. Bring feel your it elbow there. back. You feel okay. the tension? Yep. Put the point on the belly of the deer and open your hand. On the deer? The bear, the bear. The bear, the bear. Okay, right. we'll do the bear. Good. All right. Oh. All right. Holy cow. So now with this with this black hunter, mm -hmm. we have the pad. This is radius. You see how we have the pad here mm -hmm. in the middle? If you keep shooting to the left, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a smaller pad. And we're going to put it towards the rear, and mm -hmm. that'll move the impact. Oh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video now. Adjust the pad, we'll show you, and we'll shoot again. Now that you knew, I can't overwhelm you with so many things. Oh, there's a little <laughs> bit of different that I'll teach you, you know, as time goes on. Mm -hmm. But one of the things is that once you got your stance mm -hmm. and you got your anchor, and you come back and you make sure that elbow's all the way back, right? Mm -hmm. You keep your hand against your face. If your hand comes off your face, the arrow will go to the left. Uh -huh. So maintain pressure on your face as you release. And the other thing is some people hold the bow with a loose grip mm -hmm. and that's okay. But if you have a loose grip, you really should have a finger sling. That's something like that goes between these two fingers. Mm -hmm. So the bow could float when you release. Okay. But since you don't have a finger sling and I don't use a finger sling, just hold on. To I it. keep it loose, right? I keep it a little loose, my grip. Mm -hmm. And as I pull back, you see it's in that pad, the pad here, you see this pad? Yeah. All right? When I'm back, then I close my hand, I lay my fingers here, and I'm holding the bow. Not gorilla tight, but I hold it. You know, I want to hold it there. I want to be a shooting machine. Okay? Okay, we're on Long Island, and it's always a little windy, and this is a junky stand I have. The better one is in the garage. <laughs> so it blew over again. So now we're going to watch Jeffrey. Alright. Right. Oh, before you knock it, let me show you what mm -hmm. I did. When I went in, I put a shorter pad to the rear of the radius to see if we can move yeah. the impact. Okay. Thank you. Okay, knock your arrow with the odd color out. Click. Okay, three under. Alright. Keep it can't a little, stick that finger in the corner of your mouth. You were good. Pretty good. All right, stick it there. Now feel the elbow back, right? Mm -hmm. Good. Now put that point right on the belly. You see the front leg? See the yeah. little spot? Put it behind the front leg. Right. And close that left thigh for a minute. Let me see if that changes something. Go ahead. All right. Belly to you. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, Perfect. Look at that. It. Holy cow. Is that awesome or what? That is awesome. I thought for a minute you were looking with the other eye. Yeah, that's why to figure. You were trying to <laughs> figure you, what eye to look with. Were you doing that on the other shots too? Yeah. yeah, he was yeah, trying, was to, trying figure to figure out. Figure. Close your left eye. Yeah, so always you always got to look eye. with your right eye or squint it or whatever uh, until you get used to it. But that's what I was watching. 
Oh. Grab an arrow and shoot. Grab Look at that, shoot. man. Holy you're a cow. natural. If you get a Robin Hood and bust my expensive arrows, <laughs> you get to take it home and hang it up on your wall. All right? So here we go. Touch that, stick it in the corner of your mouth against your face. Keep your hand up. Yep. Good. Now, you see, yeah. I want to show you something. Yeah, it hit me a little bit. Yeah, well, you were holding your wrist different, too. You're holding your wrist like this. Okay. When you got your stance, right, and you come back, and you come back, and it's in that pad, mm -hmm. let it let it, let it, it go where it's got to go. And you see how far away it is from my wrist? Yeah. You know, all right? Hold it out like, hold out like a stop sign, like that, like stop. Mm -hmm. All right? And that bow will go in there, and then you close it, okay? Keep your hand against your face. Okay? Okay. Get another arrow. Now your stance good and all right. Now mm -hmm. you're not going to grip it tight until it's all the way out there. Okay. And keep your thumb down. Try to do this. Look. Okay. Slide your okay. thumb right across your cheek until you get your anchor. Right. Go ahead. Stick in the corner of your mouth. Back more. Elbow back. Good. Put it where it's got to go. Ah. You whack your arm. You know why you whack your arm? Why? I'm going to show you. You were doing this. Watch. When you were back. Right? What you did was stretch your arm out like this. Oh, this arm. Just okay. hold this arm straight in front of you. Okay? Yeah, you want to tell you I, stick I, your chest out right? to do that. So I'm going to shut this off and then we'll go get your arrows and then we're going to take a couple more shots and okay. we'll be done for your little teaching video. I just told him, he said, if it hits his arm, we won't, we won't laugh on camera. But no, go ahead. Okay? Lean your head down into it, stick it in the corner of your mouth. Good, you're far enough away. You ain't going to hurt. Stick it right in against your face. Good. Just went high. It went high. Yeah. Okay, you didn't put it below. You were worried about whacking your arm, then you went yeah. high. So now you're gonna do it again and put the belly, put the point on the belly of the deer and watch where it, I mean the bear and watch where it goes. Go ahead. Oh, okay. oh, I'm sorry. Okay. No Clip, it on. <sighs> Clip it on. All right. Okay, cool. All right. Okay. Now you remember stance, shoulders, right? Mm -hmm. See it's away from your arm. Stick it in the corner of your mouth. But low, put a point low on the belly of the bear. Good, oh. good, okay? All right. So, not bad for your first attempt, right? Not bad. So, this is Jeffrey's first introductory <laughs> lesson. He's gonna get his arrows. We're done with this video, but we, we're not done shooting, but just done with the video. All so, right. Say, well, thank you. This, there we go. All thank right. you very much. I'm looking forward to this. There we go, cool. <laughs>